Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the long awaited video and that is my apartment tour. Raise your hand if you like apartment tours. Although I feel like my apartment will always be a work in progress, like girl, if you are into decorating, you know things are constantly changing and there's never actually a point where you're just like, ah. I am done buying new stuff. I still wanted to show you guys anyway because I really like how it's coming along. But not only am I excited to show you guys this apartment tour, I'm really excited to announce that I am collaborating with Energy Star in this video to basically raise awareness about how important it is to use Energy Star certified LED bulbs to preserve energy and also to protect the environment that we live in. Growing up, my family have been using Energy Star bulbs all my life and here we are doing a collaboration. So thank you. I'm just gonna let you guys get into the video. I know I blab too much in my intros, but I hope you guys found this video helpful. Maybe it would inspire you on decorating your place or maybe even inspire you to work with different lighting because I feel like lighting really makes a difference on how you feel in your house. So if you do like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And let's just jump right in. Starting with the entryway, when you first walk in, you will notice this white console table. I have some decor items on here and also just a tray for my keys so that I don't lose them, which I always do. And of course, I would have a candle because beauty guru problems. Right above the entryway, we have a ceiling light that gives off this really warm and bright feeling. I really like a warm feeling in the entryway because it's comfortable and just makes coming home very inviting. Next to the entryway, you will find these laundry closet doors. Nothing very interesting in there, so I'm not gonna show you. And right across from it is this closet that I call the garage because when you live in an apartment, there really ain't a lot of storage space, so you just gotta make it work. And I also just added this little fake plants right outside of our bedroom just to give the entryway a pop of green. And I really like it. It makes the entryway look very refreshing. And now let's move on to the bedroom. We have a one bedroom, one bath apartment. So this is the only room you'll be seeing throughout this video. Our bedroom seriously made a come up girl. We recently caught a new vanity, a bed frame, nightstand, and I just think the room looks very cozy. And next to our bed, you will see my vanity. I try to keep this area as clean as possible because I do share this room with my man. And as you can see, I keep this area very minimal and cleaned. And by the way, do you guys wanna see a vanity tour? If you do, let a sister know and I'll be happy to film that for you guys. And here is our bed. We recently just got this new bed frame and I just ugh, love it so much. The white sheets look so good against the rustic bed frame and I think this setup just looks pretty unisex for, you know, my man and I. What do you guys think? And here is what our bedroom looks like at night. For the lighting, I wanted the bedroom to feel warm and cozy because this is where I journal and obviously relax in. So we use 60 watt equivalent energy star LED bulbs for our table and floor lamps. Using LED bulbs use way less energy than incandescent bulbs, but they give off the same amount of light. So definitely a good investment if you are looking to switch out your bulbs or want to save some money on your electricity bill. So our bathroom is just right off of our bedroom. It's connected, so when people come over, it is kind of inconvenient, but for the most part, people don't really sleep over at our place, so it works out. But this is just what our bathroom looks like. It's super plain, it's a good size, and it's pretty functional. And right outside of the bathroom is this little hallway where our open closet is. I think it looks pretty cool, although it can look a bit messy because it is open. It's not your traditional closet where it's all hidden with a door, but I think it matches the feel of our place. Wa and I just split the closet in half, although I must say I take up more space than he does, but it's cool. Across from the closet is our shower. I love the shower because it is huge and I love that I can wash my hair without them elbows hitting the walls. Now let's move our way out to the kitchen, which is right off of the entryway. We have a rectangular shaped kitchen, so arranging furniture in here was kind of a struggle, but I think it all worked out. I'm not sure how I feel about the yellow and gray theme though that came with the apartment. What do you guys think? And yes, our apartment came with a chalkboard wall and shout out to Wall for having the best handwriting and yes, he did do this. Ain't it impressive? 
this right here is our lovely kitchen island. I originally got this for extra counter space, but turns out it's a little too tall, so we ended up using it as a bar counter to eat. And I just decorated this space with some old items that I had for years now. As for the kitchen, I really like how the kitchen is lit up at night. It's just really bright and inviting. And the good thing about using Energy Star certified LED bulbs is that it stays cool and doesn't heat up the kitchen any more than it needs to be. And the brightness makes prepping food a lot easier to see. And right above the island, we have a pendant light with a warm white 75 watt equivalent bulb in there. I like having the balance between warm and bright lights in the kitchen because it makes it feel inviting, especially when our friends come over and we are gathered around here to eat and hang out. Right off of the kitchen is my office space. If you guys see my office tour, I don't need to go into much detail about this and I probably won't since I'll just leave the link for that video down below so you guys can go check it out. But this is just an overview. And again, just trying to keep my office space nice and minimal because I find that I work best when things are clean and out of a sister's way. I do end up working a lot at nights. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know I am a night owl. So I chose a soft white 60 watt equivalent bulb for my table lamp as you can see right over here. I just find this to be the most comfortable for my eyes so that I can see clearly but not get blinded by the brightness. And I am sure by now you guys know that I have bunnies. If you didn't know that, girl, where have you been? You can follow them on Instagram if you would like, but here is Miso's playpen. He hangs out a lot around the house, but when I'm busy and can't monitor him from destroying my house, he has to stay in here. And now, the best part of the house, the living room! You guys see this all the time if you watch our vlogs. I would have to say, we spend about 85% of our day in here. I really like it though because it's so bright and we do not have to turn on our lights until around 8.30 at night. So we save a lot of electricity, girl. Not sure if you guys have noticed yet, but for the living room, we're trying to go for that white, gray, and rustic feel. So let me know what you think. It's still a work in progress, but I think the progress is coming along pretty nicely. Oh, and we don't just have one bun, we have two. This is our master BB. She runs the house and controls me, but I am okay with that. She is a free roaming bunny in the living room. She is a senior now, six and a half years old. So she's definitely out of her destructive days, unlike Miso. So we trust her to roam around the house without destroying our place. She can be a little grumpy towards Miso, so we have to keep her separately in case you're wondering why they don't stay together. But yeah, this is BB's room. She has her bunny condo. She has a nice plush rug for her to lay on and her litter box. Lastly, this is what the living room looks like at night. I love spending time in here all cuddled up on the couch with a blanket. I mean, doesn't it just make you want to snuggle up here and watch Netflix? So here I'm using 75 watt equivalent warm white LED bulbs in this lamp. This lamp is cool because I can adjust the brightness so it can be super bright while I can also turn it down for a nice dim comfortable light for when I'm just watching TV. And that's all there really is to my apartment so far. I've moved around a lot since I moved out for college a few years ago and this place is really my favorite so far and I've had so much fun decorating and I hope this video gives you guys some inspiration. But here's just a little walk around so that you guys can kind of connect all the pieces to my place. So that concludes it to this apartment tour. I hope you guys liked it, found some inspiration, or if you have any advice on how I should arrange my things, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys have any more lighting questions or anything about Energy Star, I will leave their link right over here so you guys can click that and check it out. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave me your request down below on what videos you would like to see next. And I know I say this all the time, but I wanna say thank you guys for all your support because without you, I would never get to work with such cool brands and do such cool videos on my channel. So thank you so much, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!